Hello there, you're welcome to another episode of To The Point Code. In this episode, we look at how to create our application on the Google Developer Console and set up some information about it. In the previous episode, we created a Google Developer account, so let's log in and get started. So on the dashboard, we start by creating the app. Now we enter the details on the page and create the app. So first, we provide a name. We select the default language here too. Now application is an app, so we select app. Now whether it is free or paid, our application is free. Now the choice you make here is very important because once you've published the application, a free app cannot be changed to paid but you have the chance to change the paid app to free. And once you've done that, we go ahead to create the app. Now once on the dashboard, we need to fill some details. So we'll do that under set up your application. We have to make sure that we've handled all these tags. So we start with the app access. Now for my to-do app, none of the functionality is restricted. So we choose all functionalities available without special access. You can choose otherwise if your application is different. Once you've done that, we go back. And we take care of the next step. For now, my application has no ads. So I choose no, my application does not contain ads. We go back once again. Now we talk about content rating. So to be able to get the rating, we need to answer a questionnaire. Now we need to provide an email address. For the category, I'll choose utility because this is just a to-do app. Now violence, no. Sexuality, no. Offensive language, no. Substance, no. No. No, not yet. No. It is just a to-do app. No, not yet. Not yet. No, it's not a search engine. Now we can click on save. Once we've done that, we go to next. Now we are provided with the ratings for our application. So once we have them, we go ahead to submit. Now we can go back to our dashboard. So we proceed to the target audience. Now we select the available options. Once we've done that, we click on next. For this part, you have to read and understand to make sure that you are choosing the right answer for your application. For my application, I can go ahead to choose no. Because I don't see any way that my application will appeal to children. I don't know if there is a child who uses a to-do app, I just can't tell, so I'll choose no. Now once you are fine with the summary, we go ahead to save. Once again, we go back to our dashboard. Now we go to news app. My application is not a news app. Now we select an app category and provide contact details. Thus, we are configuring our store settings. Now, application is an app and a category. We choose productivity. Once again, you have to choose whatever best suits your application. For the tags, I'll go ahead to choose productivity again. I don't think there is a tag for to do, 
like I'll choose that one too. So we'll do with the productivity for now. Now we need to provide an email address once again. Now if you have a phone number or website, we can add it too, but these options are optional. Now we can allow Google to market our app for us, so we keep this box checked. Once you've done that, we go ahead to save. And we go back to our dashboard. Now we need to set up our store listing. Now for this section, we will need some files. This will include graphics about our application and also mobile screenshots. We also need screenshots for tablets among others. So in order to proceed, we need to get all these files in their correct dimensions. So in the next episode, we will see how to get all these files in their correct dimensions. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and also leave a comment for me in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next episode.